What's up everybody, Braxton here at KR3 Garage. I just wanna show you guys what the process is at getting this bike flashed. Specifically, getting it flashed by SLR Tuning. Minute, get it how you live it. Ten toes in when we standing on business. I'm a big step off, underground methods. My guy Frank at SLR Tuning has been nothing but extremely helpful. And we're gonna get this bike unrestricted. Now, this bike is pretty slow right now. It's making, uh, without looking, I think it's making somewhere around 150 to maybe 160 to the wheels. Not a lot of power. Honda restricts these bikes very, very much from the factory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little base map to it as well as unrestrict the ECU with the flash, meaning we are unrestricting the top end power, we are unrestricting the fuel, the RPM, anything that's restricted will be no more after this is done. Now, I'm not doing this today. The way you do this through SLR is they don't use handhelds no more. What they do is they send you this device that you plug in, it has like an OBD port, and you plug this into your bike, and then you plug it into your computer. When you get a uh, an agreement with Frank, the owner, and he will remote tune your bike, he will connect to your computer and your bike and remote tune it from Florida, wherever you're at in the United States. So right now what we're doing, I just got this in today. I'm not gonna get a flash till tomorrow, but Frank needs a picture of my ECU before we can do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the seat, remove the tank, and just snap from a picture of the ECU. Not a lot of work, but let's get to it. A few moments later. All right, now I'll walk you through this real quick. I kind of sped through the first part of it. Not very many bolts. I believe you only have four bolts. I have only owned this bike for two weeks. I have never taken it apart, but most of you guys know I sell Hondas for a living at J. Happer Honda Powerhouse. So I should know how to do this, but again, I just sell these things. So we're just gonna go at it. I think I know what I'm doing here. It's really not that hard. It's just a tank and seat removal and your tank is plastic. So this shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Now, you have two bolts on the front of this tank that we removed, and then you also have two bolts, you have to pull your seat up, you have two bolts under here to remove your pass, your driver's seat, sorry, your rider's seat. Once you get that removed, you have two more bolts that hold this tank in and it comes off and then the ECU should be right under here. I got both the bolts off, the rider seat, we're gonna pull the seat off from here, so just pull up, oh. You have two bolts right here, the same exact size as the other four bolts, or the four bolts that I've already taken off. So, let's get these off, let's pull the tank off, and let's get to access to this ECU. All right guys, we got both of the bolts off, this cover, theoretically, should just pull off now. Let's try it. Give it a little round and dazzle. There we go. Boom! The tank cover is off. All right, guys, we got the tank off. It looks filthy. I do apologize about all this dust that is on there. Mind you, this bike is a 2017. I just bought it. This tank cover has never been off since it left the factory. I bought it from my homie's dad who bought the bike brand new in 2017, never really rode it. I bought it with 2,400 miles. I've had it about two and a half weeks. It now has a little over 3,000 miles. So the bike is pretty broken in, I guess you would say, or barely broken in, I guess you would say. Now, let's, uh, let me show you why I took the tank off, where the ECU is located, and let me just give you guys a little bit of a look at what is under that tank cover on the SC77 Honda CBR 1000 RR. Guys, this is it. It looks filthy. We'll get her cleaned up before I put the tank back on. I'm gonna get her all wiped down. Now, super, super accessible to get to the ECU. All Frank needs from SLR, all he needs is a picture of my ES ECU, which my ECU is right here, and essentially, he just needs all of this right here so he can get all of his information correct. So when he remote accesses my computer, we can get the flash done and get it done correctly. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it is 8.30 in the morning the next day. I just got to work. We brought the bike in. We got it next to my desk. We're about to set up the laptop, get everything plugged into the bike. 
and then we'll get it flash and tuned. guys we just got home from making those two passes that you just seen out in the mexico streets i'm still getting used to the bike first gear is damn near pointless because it just wants to go which is great because i'm building this bike building this bike for roll racing which i'm not really doing a build it's just going to be very simple bolt-on lowered strap just your very basic setup and we're going to see what this thing can put down on pump gas. So stay tuned for some more updates. Check out Frank from SLR. He has been nothing but helpful with me this entire time. So give my guy a shout. Get your bike flashed and tuned by him. It runs amazing. I am not mad at all. Honestly, I am a bit overwhelmed for the fact that everyone knows Honda is always on the lower you know, the lower level of the horsepower list when it comes to all the bigger brands. That doesn't even matter when you can't, you can't even put it down the way it is now. It's crazy. You guys hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment and check out our next video. It's hot. I'm going inside and I'm drinking some water. Have a good one.